Between 1910 and 1970, more than 10% of Indigenous children were forcibly removed from their families. The government intended that the Indigenous culture and its people would fade out through a process of natural elimination and their assimilation into the white community. Children taken from their families were either relocated to missionary institutions or adopted by white families. The treatment of these children was often very harsh. Physical, sexual and emotional abuse were not uncommon. They were forced to adopt the white culture and neglect their Indigenous heritage, leaving behind everything they knew. In 2007, Kevin Rudd promised to apologise to the Stolen Generations. On 13th of February 2008, his promise was fulfilled. We apologise, especially for the removal of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children from their families, their communities and their country. For the pain, suffering and hurt of these stolen generations, their descendants and for their families left behind, we say sorry. To the mothers and the fathers, the brothers and the sisters, for the breaking up of families and communities, we say sorry. It is impossible to imagine the lifelong pain and suffering caused to the stolen generations and the Indigenous population as a result of a government policy and white supremacists. It is our duty as Australians to look towards a better future, a future where all Australians, whatever their origins, are truly equal partners, with equal opportunities and with an equal stake in shaping the next chapter in the history of this great country.